We got a full house tonight, absolutely. How are you, Johnny? How's this a fine evening treating you? Any reflections on Montreal, Johnny? Like, maybe you would have gone when, you know, everyone was there type of thing. Any reflections? Okay. There, we'll play bishop here, and we'll just trade the bishops off, bring this knight. Oh, never mind. <laughs> never mind. Didn't expect that move, honestly, guys. Castle. It's a super strange move. So it really wants to play one of these two moves, huh? Okay, I'll do a strange move too. You're gonna play like a weirdo, I'm gonna play like a weirdo. Knight d8. I'm not allowing bishop c6, I'm not allowing bishop a6. Probably c5 next. Take, knight takes, takes here, takes. I can take there. But he's probably gonna play d5 in that position. It can be kind of frustrating. Just gonna develop for now. I wanna do that though. That, that'll be my next plan. This one is uh, just good here. Maybe I have made a4 at the end. Yeah, I'm saving grace. But yeah, I didn't uh, I feel like that went too well. So I'm thinking of rook there, I might play bishop takes c3. Funny looking move, but I'm going to get two pawns and the rook. Maybe we try that one. Here I was thinking we play rook here. Obviously this is a winning threat, so he's gotta move the knight, probably knight e4. And I think this is Oh, this is interesting maybe okay so let's get the rook to where do we want the rook we want to stop knight c5 no let's go to d8 i think that move was wrong i'm not sure though this is a serious threat now and if knight there, I play rook d2 and I take, so I think he messed up. Yeah, I just go here and take the pawn. Knight c3, rook a3 and take the pawn. I think I'm very proud of my bishop to take c3, guys. I think that was a very good move. Ben Mitchell, thanks for the Twitch Prime sub. Uh, iCandy46 with 100 bits. I'm just a lurker, but I'm enjoying the stream, my dude. Hey, thank you very much, buddy. iCandy, you're looking like some iCandy as well. Oh, whoa. I could take this one. Do I want to do that? No, I want to take this, obviously. Maybe not, obviously. I'm still going to do it, actually. Oh, look at my time. Okay, now we're going to take this one. King here. And this has to be good. I'm checking and playing King here now. This is game over. Once again, the kid genius. Bishop e4, rook e3, takes e4. Yes, please.
left the chat room. You feisty little uh, rascal, you dirty rascal, you come back. I wasn't done with you. Um, <laughs> how screwed am I for tomorrow's coverage? Maybe very. I'm not too sure. Okay, so I think the, the thing is d6 and e5, and then on bishop d2, I play e4. And I think this is supposed to be okay for me. Just do this and castle. And I think just playing d5 is, is like total equality. Um, kind of boring. Yo, Europe's 24 with the two months in a row for the boys. Thank you, Europe's. I think I can just go back here. If knight g5, I might take it. Hmm. Otherwise, this rook d8 c7 is kind of like a weird annoying move, I play rook d7, uh, should all be okay really, this move is also good. rook d7 after bishop there and get ready to bring the other rook over. And if he doesn't play bishop there, I guess, yeah, then we just hang out in this position. Pretty normal, should be fine. Stop bishop there. I'm attacking the A-pawn, which is kind of annoying for him, I think. Like, you know, if he doubles rooks, I can think about taking that and maybe taking that A-pawn. So why can't I take that A-pawn here, guys? This looks like a pawn for me. I like pawns for me. D7 looks like a, a decent move. I'm going to start by tickling. I'm expecting that. Hmm. It's probably a very suspicious move. Ugh. We'll make it work. We'll find a way to make it work. Probably the move I would play. Looks, looks like it keeps the pressure a move for too longer. And I'm gonna have to probably give my pawn back. He can take this though. Bishop there. Ooh, I can't actually play that one. I wanted to play that one, but I can't. I think he should keep the bishop on the board here. Okay, well, <laughs> give up that diagonal. It's not pretty, but we'll do it. It's very good for me. That's a huge blunder. So now I think I'm better. I have three against two on both sides of the board big advantage. This is also a big threat. Yeah, I think he really messed up. Well, obviously he did. Um, let's just 
go here. I think the outside pass pawn should win. I'm not going to move my rook down because I don't want to have bishop c5 check be annoying. So I'm just going to push this as far as I can and then and then bring the pieces. Check. A2. Bishop d4, I take it. Check, I just move. Otherwise, I'm getting the queen and... Resulting position should be quite trivial. Okay, so he can't move that pawn forward. So it means that I can just do this. Push this pawn as far as I can. And then take here. Not stalemate because he still has a bishop, 